Oh, yes. Is this uh, Delbert's uh, Demolition and Construction Company? Yeah. Hey, Delbert. How you doing? Yeah, this is OG. Hey, I was wondering if uh, you could come on over and uh, move a chicken coop for me and set up a... a what? You're... Uh, no, the chicken coop won't have any roosters in it. You're you're deathly afraid of roosters? Oh, well, you know what? I don't blame you, man, because uh, when I was little, uh, my, my older sister got attacked by a rooster, too, and... You know, they're kind of mean, but uh, yeah, no, you don't got to worry about that, Larry, because I'm going to sell all the chickens first, and so there won't be any chickens in the coop uh, when you come to do the work. Uh, but I was also going to see if you could also then set up a warehouse for me, too, uh, in the place of the chicken coop. And I've got uh, got a little bit of timber on the property, too, that will need to be removed, but you can go ahead and have the wood and go sell it. You make a little bit extra money. Does that sound uh, like something you'd like to do? Fantastic. Okay. So how much are we talking, you know, to get all that done? Uh, 25,000. Okay. That sounds fair enough. So yeah, come on over and let's get started with this. And, uh, yeah, I'll have you do that work for 25,000. That sounds good. Hey, by the way, how's Del Berta doing? What? Don't ask. Okay. <laughs> I won't ask. All right, Delbert. We'll see you over here in just a little while. Okay. Bye-bye.
Delbert. Yeah, this is OG. Hey, just wanted to thank you for uh, the good job that you did here. Uh, the warehouse is now up and ready to go, and uh, the new chicken coop looks good, and uh, really appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll transfer the money to you here as soon as we get off the phone, and uh, appreciate appreciate the job, man. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Yeah, we'll call you again in the future when we need more work done. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. All right, you guys, welcome back to Farming Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, we got our new warehouse put up over here, and we moved our chicken coop um, over to the other side there. And uh, so, as you probably noticed there in the little uh, montage that we did, I ended up having to borrow some money from the bank in order to get all of this done because I just didn't have enough cash on hand to do it but i'm not worried about that because uh july is uh july next month is, is going to be the second cutting of the of uh, the hay uh, for the the computer farmers uh in in addition to that we're also going to probably have a bunch of cultivating contracts so we should easily be able to make that money back and pay that loan straight back off again okay uh so yeah let's look uh look at, let's look at the chickens first so i i purchased all adult chickens and we're back uh, to full capacity uh i have since found out that we do not need roosters in here at all and i guess you don't even need roosters in real life for the chickens to make eggs either uh just you know for them to actually fertilize eggs um so yeah there's no point in really having the roosters in here uh, so we have full a full complement of hens to lay eggs and they're all fresh six month old adults uh, so they should last us for quite some time uh so let's talk and we need to get them some food too they're completely out of food so um in fact let's get going on that right now while we talk about the the warehouse here um but here's the thing with this warehouse i i kind of I, well i didn't kind of i did test it out um off camera and the problem i ran into with this warehouse is that it doesn't actually, by default, have enough capacity in it to store uh, all of the produce that, that our greenhouses are producing. Hold on a sec. i got to adjust my wheel again here. What's that doggone thing would just stay where I left it. Um, so what I ended up doing is I went, I got into the XML file of the mod and I adjusted it. So I basically increased the capacity for tomatoes lettuce and tomatoes lettuce eggs and uh what strawberries by 10 10 more 10 times of what the mod normally does and keep in mind something uh the reason the only reason we have that warehouse over there that new warehouse at all is just because we're having this performance issue with all these actual pallets in here that the computer has to keep track of so in my mind we don't that doesn't that's not even there at all we're still just using the cold storage but i had to come up with a solution to continue doing this and storing all these pallets up without just completely tanking our performance and that is the solution that we came up with so this sort of kind of doesn't even really exist as far as we're all concerned we're still using the cold storage but um you know but it's here for us to you know to to take care of that issue okay so now what we got to do though is we got to do a couple of things um I know we got to get barley for the chicken soup, but they'll they'll be okay for just a little bit longer here. Uh, let's go into our production here, and we need to set all of our um, produce to from storing to distributing. Okay, so we're going to change the output mode on this to distributing, um, and because what that'll do then is that will um, send the produce directly into that new warehouse and we didn't even have to move it at all okay but before you purists start freaking out about that i'm not going to do this for free um, what we're going to do is we are going to hire our part-time worker as a full-time worker because i'm paying for this i'm not gonna i'm not just gonna have it magically be done for free without having to pay for it for you know for realism for role playing and because it just makes me feel better about myself, okay? <laughs> and so the second, let me double check, make sure I set all these to distributing. Okay, so the tomatoes are distributing, the lettuce is distributing, that lettuce is distributing, that lettuce is distributing, that lettuce is distributing, strawberries are distributing, 
that lettuce is that lettuce is that lettuce is and that lettuce is okay so what that means for those of you who may not know is that basically what will happen is the greenhouses instead of storing the pallets right outside in front like they normally do um, they'll basically send the pallets directly to this warehouse Okay, because as far as they're concerned, as far as the greenhouses are concerned, this is a production facility that requires, you know, those resources. Okay, now what we have to do over here, though, is we have to tell this warehouse um, to also take the outgoing products of eggs and set that to distributing, lettuce to distributing, tomatoes to distributing, and strawberries to distributing. Okay, if we keep it on storing, the way this works is that the product will come into the warehouse, but then it'll automatically put it right back outside here again, um, which is kind of weird, but kind of not. It's kind of weird because I want to store it in there, but it's not weird because it's really functioning exactly the way that any other production in the game uh, functions, meaning that if you store stuff, it, it pop pops it out, right? Um, so... So what we have to do to, to, to keep the pallets inside of this warehouse is we have to set this warehouse to distributing. And what will happen then is this warehouse will hang on to those and it'll distribute that product to any of our other production lines that need it. But because we don't have any production lines at the moment, it'll just keep it in there. And that's fine because once we do get production lines set up and running that need pallets that might go in here, we're going to want to distribute to them. So it, it it's going to work out. Okay. I hope that made sense, but uh, yeah, that's basically what we have to do. Okay, so now, um, the way that I'm going to pay for this is that we were paying our, our part-time worker $15 an hour for 20 hours a week. Well, our part-time worker agreed to start working for us full-time if we gave him a raise to $20 an hour. And so 20 times 40 is 800 bucks and then multiply that by four and that's 3200 bucks so what i did in the xml file is i set this to charge me 1066 dollars a day because remember we have three day months and then if you multiply 1066 by three it comes out to roughly 3200 dollars. so that way i don't have to manually go in here and try and remember to remove the money it's just going to come out automatically each month from this production facility and that way we're paying our full-time worker to essentially move the pallets into that building and we don't have to move them ourselves anymore. Okay, so that is the solution to all of that. Now, all of these pallets that have popped out here, since they've already popped out, they're not gonna be moved over there automatically. So we're gonna have to do that ourselves, but I wanna get the some uh, our chicken some food first. So let's run over to the train station and get a load of barley and uh, get our chickens taken care of in their new chicken coop over here. Um, I kind of wonder if I should have maybe flipped that around the other way, but nah, I, I think this is a better practical setup the way it is now, even though the chickens are kind of behind the building because it's just going to give us a little bit better access to, you know, the, the pallet zone and the, you know, loading of the grain and that sort of thing. Okay, so yeah, let's run over to the train station and get these chickens 9,000 liters of barley. And then after that, we need to, uh, we'll, we'll move the existing pallets into the new warehouse. Um, because like I said, again, those don't, that, those aren't going to move automatically since they've already been spawned. And then we'll, then after that, I think we're done with June. We'll, we'll, we'll go into June 2nd and June 3rd. We'll check the sales, but then we're going to probably pop right on into July. Uh, so I can get to work on those contracts and pay the that bank loan back off. Um, okay, actually, hold on. We're going too far. Got too many things going on in the old brain right now. We got to go over this way. Uh, any trains coming? No, it looks like we're clear to cross. So yeah, the loan is just, uh, I mean, it kind of sucks, but again, I'm just not worried about it. We'll be able to pay it off in July, no problem, and keep up and running. The alternative was not, you know, not to do the chickens. Uh, oh, wait, is this, yeah, this is where I got to load. 
But then we would have lost out on a you know a whole month's worth of eggs, and I just I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep that going. Okay, let's open the cover, and we want the barley. And I don't know, can I stop this at 9,000? I can't. Well, I didn't quite stop it at 9,000, unfortunately. But that's fine. We'll, we'll just keep the extra in the, in the trailer and then dump it in the month after. Okay, so yeah, let's head back to the farm and get those chickens some feed. I guess there isn't a train coming because those lights would be going off if there were. And then we'll get those pallets moved. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, probably should have gone a little bit slower over those tracks, I'm thinking. Maybe I should have had Delbert move, remove that tree, too. Well, I guess it's okay, though. Okay, so the chickens should have a full 9,000 liters. We still have 308 liters left over in this trailer. We'll just store it in there and dump it in here in the, in the next day or two or whatever. Uh, but let's take a look in here and yep see they have a full a full thing so chickens are happy That's good if chickens happy then everybody's happy Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, we really don't have that many pallets to move, so I think we'll just use the telehandler rather than hooking up the curtain side and, you know, driving in and out of there. Um, or I guess we could take the. Uh, nah, let's just use the. We'll just use the telehandler. This should be fine. So all we have to do is just drop the pallets here, and then they'll automatically load into the warehouse. But remember, we're paying a we're paying thirty two hundred bucks a month now for a full time twenty dollar an hour worker to do this. But we have to move these first pallets because they've already spawned. So let's get that done next.
think that's it for all of the pallets. And anything new that's produced will just automatically be moved into the new warehouse. All right, cool. So let's take a look and see what's going on now. So it shows that we have 3,000 liters of lettuce, 1,000 liters of tomatoes, and 2,000 liters of strawberries in here. And because they're set to distributing, they will stay in here. Now, if when the time comes for me to remove them from here, basically what I do is I just set uh, this back to uh, the output mode back to storing, and then they pop out like that. And then I pick them up and take them to market. So that's how that works. Pretty slick. Okay, set these back to distributing. And we'll just pop them back inside again. So, yeah, it's pretty slick setup. Uh, but remember, like I said, uh, if you guys ever decide to use this mod in your game, I, I've basically multiplied the storage of eggs, tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries by 10 times what it normally would do. Because if I left it on the normal settings, I mean, it, it would fill up in less than two months, completely fill up. So and it's like, well, that isn't going to work. So that's why I had to tweak it. Uh, but, but we're still kind of, you know, pretending like what's really happening is we're still putting stuff on our cold storage. And, um, you know, that's really the best solution I could think of based upon, you know, the mods that are currently available and so forth. All right, you guys. So that should wrap up June the 1st for us. So let's see what's in here again. Yeah, none of that, nothing we're interested in or can afford. So let's go ahead now and sleep until... Uh, we'll sleep through tomorrow. Let's look at the greenhouses. They, yeah, they should all be in pretty good shape still you know seed water fertilizer wise and whatnot so they're they're in good shape there and uh, yeah we'll sleep until tomorrow we'll check the sales if nothing cool comes up in the sales we'll go into june 3rd and if nothing cool comes up in the sales in june 3rd then we'll move right on into july because we no longer have to move the pallets over on the third okay so i will bring you back on either june 2nd or june 3rd if there's something good in the sales if not i'll see you guys on july 1st Okay, guys, um, for some reason, it looks like the uh, production, or not the production cost, but the um, property maintenance, I guess it would be, is not coming out like it was supposed to. It's supposed to take out $1,066 a day, but it's not doing that. So uh, hold on a second. Let me look at that XML file again. Yeah, I have the daily upkeep set to 1066 but it's not... Not taking it out, so I don't know why uh, that is. Not sure. Um, okay, well, our worker uh, moved the pallets over from the second and the third, and we can see that if we look at our warehouse here, um, we have. Oh. It looks. Oh, you know what I think might be the problem here okay hold on a second that didn't that didn't take either that should be 10 percent of what it currently is okay well i'll tell you what we're gonna do then um since our worker moved the pallets we're basically paying the worker 1200 bucks a day uh, but I moved the pallets for the first day, so we will pay the worker uh, 2400 bucks for moving the pallets on the second and the third. And that squares us away with our worker. Um, and then I gotta I gotta tweak that file again because for some reason it didn't it doesn't seem to take. Anyway, there wasn't anything in the sales on the second, and this is what's in the sales on the third. We don't need a forage header, to, uh, forage header, and this is a grape trailer, also not something we need. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to save the game and then log out, change that XML file over again because for some reason it didn't seem to 
to take and then start the game back up, go into July 1st, and then I'll bring you guys back on July 1st to, to show you that hopefully it's working at that point. Okay, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I think I know what the problem was. When I tested th that XML change out, it, it was successful, but then I reloaded a back a game backup and I overwrote it and forgot to change it back. So I think that's what happened with that. But anyway, if we look at this now, it should show that. Um, okay, yeah, let's go to our warehouse. And if we look at the lettuce... Uh, no, outgoing, yeah, outgoing lettuce. There we go. Okay, now it shows that, yeah, you can see that it's 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 basically 10% of what it was before. So there's a whole lot more capacity there. And when we uh, when we sleep for July, we should see that 1066 come out in, I think. Probably property maintenance. It's probably going to come out there, uh, but it could be miscellaneous too. Okay, so let's go ahead and sh uh, sleep into July. Let me just check these one more time. Yeah, no changes there. Just want to confirm everything's working the way that it should be. Okay, so we are in July... And no pallets. Let's take a look at this. Um, yeah, so you can see that they've been moved into the warehouse. We now have 38,886 liters of lettuce in the warehouse. And if we go back to here, we should now see a charge. Uh, we still don't see a charge. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm a little confused, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through July, and I expect to see um, 1066 times 3, or no, uh, yeah, 1066 times 3 at the end of July for, I'm guessing, what's property maintenance. <clears throat> if I don't then I'm probably going to set that value back to its default and then just continue to manually take it out. But it might not be registering yet because we haven't finished the first day of July. Um, anyway, let's, uh, here, let's get some contracts going. So we want field 71. Um, that's going to be a silage contract. So we'll borrow those items. And then for everything else, we're just going to take the contracts as usual. We got a harvesting. We got a. Mm, those are all pretty small harvesting. Yeah, this one is. What is what is this harvesting? What canola? That one's probably worth taking. But we don't need canola for anything, and we can't make straw from it, so we're only going to get the money. Uh. We don't really. <laughs> <laughs> we honestly don't really need any more straw or grain at the moment. I mean, not th not that I wouldn't take it if we couldn't get it, but what's this? This is wheat. Okay, that we could use for chickens, and we could get some more straw. Same with that one. But the rest of them are probably not even worth our time, to be honest with you. That's field 11. That's field 30. Okay, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do these higher ones. I'm going to borrow these items, though. So I'm not using my own stuff because it just doesn't make sense to do that. And then we'll just accept that one straight up. We'll accept that one straight up. Um, yeah, okay, we'll do that one, too, because that's almost 3000 bucks. But the rest of them I'm not going to mess with. It's just not worth the money to do those. And that's, okay, so these are all, okay, that's canola, and these two are wheat. Okay, so we'll, I, I mean, honestly, I'll probably even just try, not even try and keep the wheat. There's, we're just not going to get enough from that to 
to bother with it. So we'll probably just sell it straight up and same with the canola. So we're just basically going to take the money from these contracts without worrying about getting anything. Now, I might get the straw from these two fields, though. We'll see. I'll think about it. Um, it would probably be worth my while to do that. Uh, but, we, you know, we don't get any straw from canola. Okay, so the rest of these harvesting we're not going to take. So let's see. Does anything else pop up that we might want? Uh, there's a couple of cultivating, but they're... Oh, here's another baling. Yeah, we want that for sure. Baling is always worth taking. Those are pretty wimpy cultivating contracts. May not be worth our time. Any more big harvesting come up? That one's... That one would give us straw, so I think we're going to take that one because we already got... Okay, here's one. There's oats. Okay, that's more straw, and that's $3,000. We'll accept that contract. Anything else? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm just not going to bother with these these little littler ones here. Uh, okay, so that gives us... I'm not going to take these small cultivating, too. It's just not worth it. Um... I mean, you know, we, we've got our own cultivator, right? But by the time I spend the fuel, the tractor repair, and the cult of my cultivator repair, it's it's we're just not making a ton of money. Now, if, if these were big fields, it would be worth it, but they're not. So we're just going to leave those as, as they are. Okay, so basically, yeah, we got the usual hay contracts, and we got the harvesting contracts. By the time we're finished with all of that... um we probably will have enough money to pay the bank back off or at least partially pay the bank back off when it's all said and done. Um, but I am going to, of course, keep the additional silage and, and stuff, you know, from, uh, you know, and hay from the fields and just keep storing that stuff up because that stuff will sell later. Well, the hay will probably, will we'll probably keep the hay for the cattle. All right, anything in the sales that we might be interested in? There's that same Ross and Wash cultivator that we already have. Ooh, I need a windrower. Here's a windrower. It's an 8.4 meter windrower. 70% off. Wow. 36 months. It's got a little bit of time on it. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to get that. We're going to absolutely get that. Okay, now we have a windrower again. Uh, we don't need either one of these things. So that's a sprayer, and this is, yeah, the same thing. Okay, cool. So now we have a tether and a windrower. You know, neither one of them uh, are huge, but they're definitely adequate uh, to get the job done. Uh, the other thing, just FYI, too, is I'm not going to use... Uh, let me think about this. I'm not going to do square silage bales on 71. Well, not at all. I'll do square hay bales, but, I'm, but the silage bales, I'm going to use my own baler and do the round, the 150 centimeter round bale. So that way, the stuff that I get to keep at the end, I can just put right into my storage. If I do the square ones, uh, I don't I don't have any way to store those. So I'd rather just do everything as round bales, which means we're not gonna be using this at all, but it just kind of came with the equipment. And yeah, we'll probably use that a little bit. And then of course we have this nice New Holland harvester for all the contracts, harvesting contracts that we took. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I think I'm going to let you guys go here, and I'm going to just do all this stuff and go through July, and I will, um, you know, bring you, I, I will give you guys an end of July update, and then, you know, we'll go through August. I'll give you an end of August update. We'll go through September, et cetera, et cetera, and kind of keep doing it, you know, that way until, again, I, I'm ready to do, like, a, a full episode whenever that may be. And it might be right right away or it might be a few months from now but i will always give you guys moving forward monthly updates on you know how things are going all right guys that is it for this episode i hope you enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye